Hey fans, what up? It's your boy Ruben. You know what it is. New week, new video. Happy Victory Monday. My boys are coming back from London 2-0 over there this uh, year. And um, definitely took advantage of uh, home field advantage over there, considering that we were there for two weeks. It's been a big complaint. Ask me if I give a damn. No, I don't. I don't give a damn that it was an advantage that we got to stay there. We had to stay in London. That's not cool, all right? That <laughs> we had to sell another home game to London. I don't feel bad about it, all right? Because that's one less actual home game, and we've been the laughing stock of the league forever, and we have not reaped the benefits uh, that, that a lot of other teams have had in other regards in terms of media, um, coverage, uh, damn, flags, any of that, all right? With that being said, um, hell, as far as flags go, a good example was that sack Josh Allen had on Bill's Josh Allen. There's no way this should have been a roughing. That, that was about as standard a sack as you can get it, all right? If they touched face masks, that was incidental contact. It wasn't helmet to helmet. There was no reason to make that call except for the fact that they wanted to give the Bills an opportunity to try to get back in the game. Um... Makes you wonder how gambling's affected, you know, the lines and stuff like that. But, you know, and, and whether refs consider that when you see such bad penalties. I, I saw a bad penalty, in the, a non-penalty in the Kansas City game where the guy took off his helmet and the ref didn't throw the flag. They actually told the guy, put his helmet on without throwing a flag. But that's, that has nothing to do with us. So that's neither here nor there. Um, the good, uh, Travis Etienne looked good for the most part. Um, defense, wow, shout out, hats off to the defense, they play lights out, they shut down one of the more explosive teams in the league, and got us a dub, and a pivotal one at that, this was just as important as that Kansas City game that I mentioned before, um, for the fact that now we own, you know, the tiebreaker, um, if, you know, it, it, potential, uh, we don't have to go to Buffalo, which is huge if in a tiebreaker situation. Um, they would have to come to Jacksonville, which is, you know, lately, these guys, we own them. Uh, I can't remember the last time we lost to the Bills. I, I, I think this dates back to the 2017 Jaguars when we beat them out of the playoffs. The quarterback was Tyrod at the time. But uh, I, I think we beat them every time since then. Correct me if I'm wrong. You know, I'll check the comments. Uh, but we own the Bills. And Josh Allen can't figure this team out. <laughs> he can't figure this team out. Um, I, I said he was going to give us opportunities. Uh, shout out to Darius Williams. He big time pick uh, that, that that I felt like kind of swung the momentum in our in our um, in our way and basically allowed us to help shut the door. Um, Calvin Ridley way to bounce back and show that you know what you can be the number one on this team. Um, Trevor Lawrence, way to if I if I gotta say anything about Trevor Lawrence, and he he would make my good and bad list, but if I can say anything about Trevor Lawrence, is dude's unflappable. Okay, he makes mistakes and he just keeps coming like he never made the mistake. It's uh it is an attribute not every quarterback can deal with. Okay, um, but at least you know when you got a quarterback like that, he's he, the team's never gonna quit. All right, um. Unlike my other team, the Cowboys, that they, they look like they just quit and got pumped. I don't see that in Duval, and that's something I appreciate is that I, I never feel like I see them cheat us in effort uh, in wins or losses. Uh, what else? Uh, good. I mean, it's basically, like I said, defense. Um, this secondary is better than I thought it would be. Now, it's only five weeks. Let's see how it goes. But it's better than I thought it would be um, because Darius Williams is better than I thought he would be. Uh, I have said he's average to above average, but right now he's playing at a Pro Bowl level. Um, I, I hope he keeps it up. Um, we, I was even on Facebook uh, arguing because somebody had posted they thought Darius Williams is our best corner, not Tyson Campbell. And while I don't agree, at least this week kind of gave me some pause to think about it because I thought Tyson Campbell was a dog, but then he allowed, he did allow two touchdowns, which isn't 
good, but I thought Tyson Campbell was a dog the majority of the game. Um, both touchdowns were just kind of young man mistakes, if, they, if I had to give it anything. Uh, the first touchdown was Stephon Diggs, uh, right side. Uh, he, he just missed the jam. And and you can't miss the jam on a receiver that explosive. Uh, Stephon Diggs took advantage. He couldn't recover. Uh, I wouldn't say that's particularly like a like a bad coverage play. Uh, but the the other touchdown wasn't a great coverage play. He never quite got his head around. Um, guy kind of beat him. It was sort of a pseudo fade kind of deal. And uh, he just never his biggest win. Never getting not getting his head around. Um, I think all in all, Tyson Campbell has the ability to really be a perennial Pro Bowl uh, cornerback, whereas Darius Williams, I, man, he's just he's playing lights out. I just don't see him as the kind of corner that is going to project to kind of stop guys like your Devontae Adamses and Stephon Diggs and things like that, although he had the big pick on Stephon Diggs, fought him, um, and won for a jump ball, and that was fire. Um, the bag. What the hell is going on with the offense? Now, we know there's issues on the O-line, and now we return home to Jacksonville. Um, it makes you think if we should have chose to have the bye week after these London trips. Um, it's my understanding that these teams have kind of an option uh, to have a bye after these trips, but and, and they elected not to. So I think they have two more games, one of which is a Thursday night game next week. And... Um, the reason I say that is because it looks like we might be down two linemen. I haven't heard any updates on what's going on. And and, and not just two linemen, our entire left side of the line. Now, um, to be more accurately, we don't have a left tackle if uh, Walker Little and Cam Robinson don't play. Now, we have a left guard because we still have Ben Bartz. We still have Shatley. Um, but that left tackle spot's going to be a problem if, we, if both can't go. And... Um, <laughs> I I I don't I don't know what we're gonna do there and in particular in the running game that that those are our best guys when it comes to running the ball particularly Cam Robinson so um, offense still not quite there looking crisp um, we left a lot of points on the board Trevor I said we're gonna make my good and bad the two fumbles in the red zone. This game had me losing years off my life. I don't know how many times I felt like we could have put the Bills away and we just kept giving them opportunity after opportunity to get back in the game. Um, but our defense held firm, didn't allow them to get back in the game. Um, the score was much closer than 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 it, it really was. We really We really beat them all game. So, with that being said, we got Indy coming back. We got Indy coming back. And I felt much better about Indy, right, when Anthony Richardson was the quarterback. And the reason for that is the guy's still learning how to play quarterback. And uh, he holds on to the ball and allows, you know, for sacks and allows for big plays. I'm more worried about them with Gardner Minshew at quarterback. Gardner Minshew is a guy he's going to play on time. He's a heady player. I I'm, I was upset when we traded him. I think he deserves to be a starter somewhere. I, I think he could be, um, Not don't get me wrong, the guy doesn't have the big arm. He's not a big guy. Um, but I, I think, I'm not saying he's Brock Purdy, but I think if he's in like a system like San Fran, do balls out. You know, and... Um, He's a very good quarterback. I do not underestimate Gardner Minshew whatsoever. He just keeps coming in and winning games. One last week with Anthony Richardson out in a, in a tight division battle with the Titans. The guy just keeps performing. Um, the Colts have a decent defense. They're going to be better in this game than they were week one. We have to be on our P's and Q's. I still feel like we haven't quite found ourselves offensively. And a lot of that has to do with the old line play. We have the weapons and the quarterback. Like we want to drive the ball downfield, but the offensive line is not holding up enough to allow us to be more explosive than what we are. So it leaves us kind of in this, all right, well, we got all these weapons, but it, the ball's got to come out quick and we got to do all this quick game stuff. 
um, and other teams know it. It's easy to game plan for it when you can't drive the ball down the field like we want to. Now, what a throw, though. Trevor to Calvin Ridley to pretty much slam the door shut on third down because if, if you want to talk about a momentum killer for the Bills. If they get that stop there, that was a third down. They get the ball. They have an opportunity to get back in the game. And um, shout out to Trevor. Shout out to Calvin Ridley finally making – uh, a number one wide receiver type of play. He was making me, I'm not going to lie, he was making me a little nervous. Um, he had the bad game against the Texans. Um, and then, you know, I didn't expect a whole lot from him against the Falcons. Uh, he was lined up and bracketed by AJ Terrell and uh, Jesse Bates. So I'm not going to hold that too much against them. But uh, I, hopefully this is the start of something. We can get rolling. We're out of London now. Now we're back home. We got a couple games. Um, the primetime games are going to start. It's time to look alive. All right? Um, what y'all think? Did y'all enjoy the game? <laughs> did y'all heart stop as much as mine did with all the turnovers and just foolishness that we, uh, we went through to win that game? Nonetheless, I got it as a big win. I'll look for what y'all think in the comments, all right? Uh, definitely stay tuned for more. I'll hit you up maybe later in the week. Definitely to talk about the upcoming game more. All right? Peace.